Hello. Um, this is not my usual um, subject matter. Um, you know, dealing with things of a spiritual nature, etc. This actual video is to um, the gospel and um, gypsies. Okay. So you're going to know. You'll know who you are. Um, basically. Uh, I'm going to address you directly um, because I need to know something. Um, but first of all, I would like to state that um, there was the death at the quarry. Uh, the kid died and um, there was a ban on everybody going at the quarry by where you live. And... Um, it just banned absolutely everything, so uh, no one could go up there, and we, we were to guard it. And so we did. And um, what I want to say, basically, is that while we were guarding the place, the gypsy families had behaved very, very admirably. They were never, ever any problems on all that time when I was working on that side. There was never, ever any problems to do with gypsy families. And I told the guards, because I was presiding over four guards at the time, uh, I told the guards, when you get to the pylon at the back of the quarry, don't linger around because there's people living there, okay? Because you guys have got a site around the back. So I said to them, look, stay away. Don't, you know, you've got to do your patrols, but don't linger down there because people are trying to live their lives, okay? And you strike me as uh, very private people. Um, we had uh, come up to 20 of your kids. They come round to the uh, to the pub that was nearby, and they all sat down. They didn't go. They didn't go by the doorway and hassle everybody. They didn't do anything like that. They sat in their own group and just sat around chilling out. Never bothered anybody. And they were all. There was no adult with them, but all those kids behaved, and I loved talking to them. I'll tell you something else, right? I know that you took a trials bike <laughs> and still went up the end, up the, up the other end. And you know what? I'll let you do it. <laughs> I wasn't going to stop you. That's your turf. You live there. And for a long time, I didn't think that was like Weinerberger's land. They just said, look after the quarry, make sure nobody goes in, blah, blah, blah. And they said after, you know, it's towards the end of the contract, they goes, oh, it's like, they can't, they can't, they can't ride up there neither. Nobody can go up there, and it was still sort of well out of the way. It was, you know, it it wasn't in my face. You wasn't skinny dipping. You just wanted to ride around with your trials bikes and stuff. The only problem we ever had down there was like the rich kids getting bought um, scramblers, and there was two of them, and they just wouldn't get off. We had to keep getting them off there and ringing the police on them like that. I said I didn't want to be a grass and I told them I didn't want to be a grass but they were stretching it pardon me and I could um, I could sense that one of them was going to have like a bit like a, quite a bad accident you know what I mean and uh, Weinerberger like they would end up getting like done for it <laughs> and that's all they were worried about they were just worried about like if anyone else dies up there they're just they're facing such a serious lawsuit and this was all kicking off like the coroner the press the family protesting saying it should be all sealed off but it was anyway but they're in that state they just had a, a, a horrible loss so they're going to be pointing the blame at people what I want to say to you guys is well done. You never ever peeved me off. You uh, you fully have impressed me. There's another site that I do as well. I don't want to name the site, but there's another site that I've, that I've been doing a lot longer. And you haven't been mithering me up there. And I know you, there's a site up there as well. 
in fact, I think it goes parallel. You know what I mean? It's it's not far away from you know where you guys are. And you've been looking for metal. You've been doing your thing, and um, even though I'm on different sites at the moment, I've still got that promise that um, you know if I find out that the metal up in the field and that you know that they're not bothered with it anymore and it's just going to be a nuisance to them. I've got one of your phone numbers, and I know where you live. So at the end of the day, you've stood by your end of the bargain, right? So what I'm going to do is, because I said to a couple of the guys that came up there, look, you know, I'm going to see if I can sort out what metal you can have. They're not going to want to take all of it, right? There's going to be some hanging around somewhere that's like worth a significant amount of money. And um, that's just, but I don't want to sort of like have any reports of like, you know, gypsies being on site, blah, 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 you know what I mean? Because I want to give them what they're looking for. If there's any way through this, I guarantee there'll be some metal left around anyway, and you can make quite a few bits of money from it. But like, um, what I've got at the house, it's um, some, I don't know why they gave me it, but they gave me like three bags, they're about that size, right? And um, they've got like little pellets in there. They're not slugs for guns because they're normally lead anyway, but these look like, could be copper or iron, but it looks like copper to me, could be copper. But they're heavy, <laughs> they weigh a ton. Um, and there's three bags about that size, a couple of these little pellets that are really heavy. So what I want to do as a thank you is just to pass them on to somebody, but with you guys being private, you've got your own way of living. And um, I've always said to people, who's who's the bigger fool? Us lot that pay taxes, all those that don't pay taxes. <laughs> yeah, that's a big question. A lot of them have actually stopped in the tracks and thought about that one. I said, look, I was like, I like the gypsies. I said, they know how to live that out of the system, you know what I mean? I said, I wish I was that brave. I hate the system. <laughs> But I've got like biblical reasons for not being into the system because there's going to be a lot of things coming up that I'm not allowed to accept and mark the beast and all that kind of information. Like, but big subject if you want to ask, feel free. Um, you know, so being a gypsy would have been ideal for me. <laughs> no council tax, no, no ties. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, just work on a barter system, like do a bit of grafting for a farmer and get all my fruit and veg or something. <laughs> But anyway, um, what I want to do is just give them as a gift, but maybe sort of be able to contact somebody. Um, I, I don't quite know how he's worth it. You must have like the mature side. You've got an elder like the, or a main guy that looks after you guys if there's any legal matters and whatnot, you know, that you've got a main guy for it that deals with it. I would imagine you're pretty organised. But if I could sort of, if somebody can get this to a main guy, text me. I don't have to come on your site, you know, because very often I'm in uniform. You probably shoot me. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? No, but um, anyway, joking aside, I'd like to give these to you and um, just as a little thank you and also keep my end of the, the bargain up on the other side that, that I have been doing, but I'm still in touch with them. Um, and we do the companies that are taking over them as well that's bought the land. Um, I'll keep my end of the bargain on that one as well. But I'd like to just pass them over. So if we can meet off the site somewhere, I don't know, if a guy can just, like, say, I'll drop them at the entrance or, you know what I mean? Uh, or, you know, somebody just have this explanation and then give it, give the explanation to who, who's, like, responsible for, like, organising whatever and just drop them off for you, basically, you know what I mean? To say, nice one. It's not the be-all, it's not the, the end-all. I don't know how much you'd get for them, but, um, you know, fair play to your chaps, and I just wanted to say that, you know, every time people slap gypsies off, I, I won't have it. I won't have it at all. I'll just, like, I'll tell them. I'll say, you want to know something? I've done, like, two, three sites, and I've never had a problem with gypsies, and I've told them I'll look out for them, because I do respect their way of living. Um... At the end of the day, it's uh, it's just my way of saying thanks, and I'll still hold my uh, end of the bargain up on the other side as well, because that's a massive side, and uh, they'll probably have something around there. It's 
it's going to take a while though that it's going to be a couple of months because they they got refused to like have planning permission and all that so they were, it dropped out of the equation went for for them behind schedule by about like six to eight months or something so um you know but your guys like one of your guys are just he's just waiting like you know and uh i haven't forgotten you i haven't forgotten you and uh nice one 100 percent well, oh yeah, another point. <laughs> Before I go, there was two of your ladies that come round and they nearly got me drunk. <laughs> they, were, they were at the pub. I had to wait till the end of duty before I drink, obviously. But like, you know, they sat there like, and they were giving me like, uh, I think it was Bacardi and Cokes or vodka and Cokes. I think one of you will remember me. One of you will go, oh, I remember it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then uh, your kids will probably remember us because like, I saw them all at the pub, but I was just having a chat to them. One of them had like real life in his eyes, in his face, and everything. He looked, you know. I said, "You've got the light in your eyes. You have like for the one kid. Like there was just something about him. Like he just shone. You know what I mean? Out of all of them, but they'll remember me. They'll remember my mush. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I was just sitting chill out, like banging all the sounds out of the quarry, like you know, just, like, on the internet. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I could see he's peeking through the pylons like sometimes. I just have a bit of a laugh. So I had my binoculars. I was going over there, like waiting for us to disappear and then come out. Like, but I'll let you alone, to be honest. When I saw he was up the other end, like, I was just like, nah, leave him. Whenever I was on my watch up there, oh dear, yeah, I'm just put my head up, like, let you know I was there, like, and not bothered. Do you know what I mean? But you never caused any trouble. You never were any hassle. Your women were fantastic company. Uh, there was a day as well, like, it wasn't on my watch, but there was a day you all went down, like there was horses and all that. I think that, I, I, was, I was peeved. I was really annoyed that I missed that day. And I went on duty, like, you know what I mean? It's all come down with the horses and everything. I, I would have loved that. I would have loved to have seen that. But, uh, you know, <laughs> win some, you lose some. But anyway, nice one, chaps, and uh, absolutely 100%. Don't let anyone say anything to you. I know you've all had to do your bit before to get by and live. We all know that. But, um, no, you've got, like, a high standard as far as I'm concerned. You've got a high standard, um, certainly with us anyway. Do you know what I mean? It's like our guards. Uh, should we have to do anything near you guys again? You know what I mean? I've told our guards, do you know what I mean, exactly how I feel, you know? Just give them a break, give them their privacy, uh, you know what I mean? So besides, they'll set the bloody dogs on me if you go around there and start lingering around where they live, and rightly so, because I'll do the same. Right, I'm going to leave you. If you can uh, leave a message uh, for me, just to let me know um, what what I should do. I don't want to. I don't want to get on anyone's nerves. You private people, you know, you don't go all over the place giving it the lines like most of these lot like out here, like, you know what I mean? Your norms, as it were, so they would like to call it. Uh, your normal uh, system run type person. Uh, right? I'd rather be abnormal and get out of the system, to be fair. It's like, it's crunch time. It's not, it's not going to be too long now the economy's going. It's like, they're making way for a cashless society that I've Got to pull out. Of, I'm not that set the mark, so maybe I'll be a gypsy one day. <laughs> anyway, speak to you soon and let me know. Just let me know what you want to do. I want to play it by your books because that's your area. It's where you live, and I respect that. So I'll just be. I don't want to just come down the side of my uniform. It's like, oh, what's this like? You know, we haven't done anything kind of thing. Get her out of here. But. Uh, You've got your privacy, and I respect that. So if someone can just message me, uh, let me know how I go about this, and then I can just give you, I'll just get a taxi up there, drop it off or something, you know, nearest pub or have you that pub? I can drop it off at the pub for you if you want. Do you know what I mean? We just meet up the pub, have a pint, and I'll give it to you. It's up to you. You know which pub it is. I don't want to mention it too much on here, because, like, you know, it's worldwide internet and all the rest of it. But, um, you know what I'm on about. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, 100%. Nice one, guys. You were absolutely spawned. Let me know where we go from here, and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Hello.